Hello everyone and welcome to the Build That Scale Lab. In this video, we will be creating our first project in TMflow and we will also learn how to recover from eStop. All right, so I've logged into TMflow on my laptop. Let's make our first project. I'm going to connect to our robot and log in, get control and go to project. From here, I can click file, new, uh, I'll go with new flow. There's two different ways to program in TMflow. The first is with the flow, and the second is with the script. In this series, we will just be covering the flow. So select new flow. We'll call it my project 01, and click OK. Now we have our first flow. Let's program some motions for the robot. FreeBot is where we manually position the robot. To activate FreeBot motion, I need to press this black button on the end of the camera arm. When this button is pressed down, I can move the robot around freely. However, this button is a two-stage button. So if it's not pressed at all, I can't move the robot. And if I press it too hard, I can't move the robot either. So only when I press it just right, can I move the robot around. All right, so let's program a motion for the robot. I'll move it to the first point that I want it to be at. Let's say about here. The next thing is I'll press this button right here on the end of the robot arm. It's got this tiny little crosshair icon. This is to make a point. So I'll press this button. And if you look at our TM flow instance, you'll notice that it created this P1 point right here. So now I'll add two more points similar to this one. I'll move the arm here and press point. And then one more time over here and press point. All right, so I've got my three points here. For demonstration purposes, I am going to loop the third point right back up to the first point. And let's run this project. To run the project, I'm going to hold down the dead man switch on the controller and press the play button. The robot now begins to move and our TMflow instance has automatically moved to the view page. The dead man switch is just like the button for freebot motion. So if I let go of it, the robot will stop. And if I hold it back down and hit the play button, the robot will resume, but if I hold the dead man switch too hard, it'll click and the robot will also stop. So you have to hold the dead man switch at just the right amount and your program will continue to play. An alternative way to pause the program is with the pause button. So if I hit the pause button, the robot stops. And if I want to continue, I'll just hit the play button. If I want the robot to run just a little bit faster, I can do that with the plus and minus buttons on the robot stick. Every time that you start a program in manual mode, it will default to 5% speed. The plus and the minus buttons increment and decrement the speed by 5% uh, each time you click them. So if I click the plus button, now we are at a total of 10% speed, and you can see the robot is moving much faster. Uh, and to bring it back to 5% speed, I will just hit this minus button. Now we're back to 5% speed. Do not run the robot any faster than is needed. The point of manual mode is to prove out the program. You can really add on the speed once everything is ironed out and you're in auto mode. I wouldn't recommend running any faster than 15% speed when in manual mode. Now I'm going to stop this program, and this will take us back to our program in TMflow. Now let's say instead of running this in a loop, I want to run it just once. I can delete this connection by selecting the X button at the bottom of the node, and that will delete the connection. So let's run this project. That's our first point. 
That's our second point. And there's our third point. So our robot has finished moving. However, you'll notice that TM flow still says that the project is running and we're still in that view mode. So I'll have to manually stop the project using the stop button on the controller. Once I hit that, then TM flow will bring us back to the project view. So what happened there is we reached the end of the program, but the program never actually stopped. So in order to stop the program, I will go to the logic nodes and select the stop node. Now when we play the program, the robot should stop after it's gone to point one, two, and three. So let's test this out. All right, so now when I run the project, once it's done going to all those points, it actually will fully stop the project. All right, so I put the program back in the loop so I can demonstrate the e-stop. When in manual mode, if the robot is doing something that you don't like, the best thing to do is just let go of the dead man switch. This should stop the robot. However, I'm now going to put the robot in auto remote mode. So I'm gonna put it in auto mode first. And now I'm gonna put it in auto remote mode. All right, so now we are in auto remote mode. So this is the mode that you can remotely control the robot from. So I am going to use my iPad to start the loop. So now that we're in auto remote mode, the robot stick is disabled completely. None of these buttons work, including the stop button. And the dead man switch does absolutely nothing. So if you're in auto remote mode and the robot's doing something you don't want, your best bet is to Hit the e-stop. All right, so we've e-stopped the robot. Now let's reset it. The first thing that we need to do is get it out of auto remote mode. So I'll hold down pause, plus, minus, plus, plus, minus, pause, pause. Great, now we're back in auto mode. So in order to exit e-stop mode, you need to twist the e-stop button clockwise until it releases and then hold down the re blue reset button for at least one second, and then release. Now the robot is out of e-stop, and uh, you can start the robot again. Another kind of error that you will encounter routinely is inside of manual mode if you over torque any of the joints while doing free bot motion. So for example, if I'm moving the robot around in manual mode and I tug on the robot just a bit too hard, it'll lock up. You can see the light ring is flashing yellow. This just means that I moved a bit too fast and the robot uh, locked itself out for safety purposes. Recovering from this is very similar to recovering from e-stop. Uh, you just need to hold down the reset button for at least one second and let go. And now it's happy and I can move the robot arm again and it's flashing green. With the reset button, you can't just poke it to reset it. You have to hold it down for at least one second and then release it and that will uh, fix your error. That's all for this video. In the next video, we'll go over how to use the gripper and pick and place motions. Thank you for watching.